We're taking our RV back to the factory. Now why on earth are we doing that? We're gonna get into it in just a bit. But first, we've gotta get on the road to Goshen, Indiana. What you doing there? Getting all the water out. <laughs> why, because it's so cold? Yeah, I'm hot headed too. Now, we've got three main goals this week, which are... Travel a thousand miles from Florida to Indiana. Number two, not freeze to death because we're headed north in an RV in the middle of winter. How much snowier it is. It's coming down. And then prepare for life without the RV. At least for a little while. Now, what do we got going on over here this morning? Well, we got to finish unhooking the water hose and the sewer, getting all our jacks off, hook up the truck, whole bunch of stuff so we can leave. And it's only 8.30, but we got to get on the road because again, a thousand miles. Team gloves, don't forget, team gloves, always. And while Craig is doing that, I actually have a few more things inside that I need to finish up. I also got more plants. Craig's not so happy about that. And then I also had to order pots for the plants, but it's okay. It's gonna look good when it's all done. For now, everything just has to go. On the floor. Kind of excited. It feels like it's been a while since we've actually had a big move day. Even though we're about to be going north and it's going to get cold, which is also going to be interesting. I am curious to see how the Brinkley does in the cold, but I'm ready to bring the slides in, get hooked up, and then we'll get to hit the road. Let's see if we can get all these slides in. We were having this problem where a fuse was blowing and we were bringing the kitchen slide in and out. So let's see. First, it helps if I press the right button. This is a bedroom slide though. This one usually comes in just fine. Do you see all that condensation on the window when it was coming in? That is something I'm not looking forward to with going north. We're in Florida and we're already having to run the dehumidifier, of course, which is normal, but we definitely have got condensation, which happens in an RV no matter what, but it happens more in colder, wetter climates, which is where we're headed. You're probably gonna ask me if I have a good dehumidifier to recommend, and I do not. We got one off Amazon that works, it's small, but I don't really love it. So how about if you have a good dehumidifier to recommend, put them in the comments because I think we need to get a better one. I don't wanna get a huge one. I want it to be small-ish, but make a huge impact. How about that? Oh, and the slides did come in without blowing any fuses. So just don't know what's going on there. But let's see here, auto hitch, enter to begin. It's time to get going. are officially off on our 1,000 mile journey. I think the reason why this feels so different is because we're finally, not finally, but we're leaving Florida. So the winter, fall, holiday time, we're like visiting family. We're going to places that we're familiar with, that we've been before. Florida's our home state. And you know, it's all kind of like, it's great visiting everyone, but it's not new. So this is like, starts our 2024 travels essentially yeah i don't think we've ever been to any and all so i nope so i i'm we're gonna definitely go to the rv hall of fame of course yeah gotta go there yeah. uh but and then after this there's just like so much more this year so it's very exciting because this is like season three officially begins yeah yeah it's gonna be exciting this year has got a lot it does. Stuff planned. So much. I'm really, really excited. We're gonna have to get a new truck after this year. All what? these miles. All these miles? All these miles. What do you think? 
Time for a new truck next year? No, I don't think so. We just got it. We gotta stop I'll buying tell you, If truck. they come out with a truck that can tow an RV and it has a self-drive feature, he we're buying saying it. saying this. I'll, I'll order it now. The people in the comments are gonna be like, I would never trust that. I don't care what they trust. I, I want to not have to pay as much attention. This sounds bad. I pay attention to the road, but with it, it just makes it easier. It takes a little stress off. Would you do a self-driving truck? Let us know in the comments because I'm curious. I think Craig's going to be in the minor minority on this one. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Well, we're officially out of Florida and in Alabama. Well, it's about the same. We will not be doing our 1,000 mile drive all in one day for the record. It will be over the course of a couple of days, but there's still gonna be a long day today. And when we get settled in, in Alabama at the RV park, we'll let you know why we're headed to Indiana in the first place. All right, it's time to stretch our legs, let the dogs walk a little bit. We've been driving for almost five hours, I think, or on the road for almost five hours. We are only doing a 400 mile trip today. Like I said, breaking it up a little bit, but we gotta stretch them legs. Sun finally came out. Finally, it's still cold though. <laughs> it is, but it's nicer. It is nicer. It's so much better when it's not overcast nonstop and you get some blue skies. I know it still looks mostly overcast on the camera, but I promise there's, see that little bit of blue right there? It's there. This is a good rest stop. There's a lot of good space to walk the dogs around. I would say that the road conditions have deteriorated slightly. <laughs> Alabama was doing good. And then... Oh my gosh, traffic got worse, the roads got worse. <laughs> it's not great. The sky got better though. The sky got better. It's as clear as can be right now. It is, real nice. Maverick, you're so ready to be somewhere, aren't you? Yeah, he's he done. And Leland, can't forget about him. He's back here. We just a whine in that car is going by. that car is going by. And it's been a while since we explained why Leland rides in the crate and Maverick doesn't have to. It's because Leland tries to herd, he's a border collie, he tries to herd the cars through the windows. He will like just jump to the front of the car unexpectedly. So for his safety, for our safety, for everyone's safety, he has to stay in the crate. So, but he's fine with it. He like goes right in it. He's fine with it. We love him just as much as Maverick, if not more, because he's our firstborn fur child. So, and Craig's favorite. He is my favorite. Shh, Maverick, it's okay. I don't even know what city this is. This is the thing about following a GPS. You just go through cities and don't even know where you are. Guess what time it is. Fill up number two. Fill up number two. <laughs> We're using open roads now, and uh, we're going to see if it actually does help us save any. This so is our far, second time using it. We saved like uh, $10, $11 on our last fill up, and should save about more, I think, this time. So the problem is that it does get you a little bit is that the truck stops that they're at, obviously, the prices are usually more expensive, anyways. So it's a balance, but overall, I think you do save. See, just then we were saving about 79 cents a gallon. So overall we saved about like 20 bucks on that fill up. So it's not bad. We'll keep testing you it out and then let you guys know how we like it officially and give you more information on how you can sign up. We came all the way to Tennessee just to turn about, rack around and go back to Alabama. I don't know, it says 13.6. We're 13.2. I mean, we're 13.2 if it's actually 13.6. I don't know what to do, really. I feel like we've been through 13.6 before, but that was with the other hitch also. Uh, what are we going to do, pull off and measure it or something? Is there a different way? I don't know. You can turn into there, I guess, although that's like a pretty sharp turn, too. I don't understand why it brought us this way. Because we're 13.2 and it's 13.6. So then we should be good. I guess we we're about to find out. I mean, we're 13.2 and this is 13.6. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did we make it? 
I think we made it. Do you see any remnants of anything in the Oh road? my goodness, that is so stressful. <laughs> Holy smokes. Why, GPS? So this RV park we're staying at is very close to the Tennessee border. In fact, we just went all the way to Tennessee just to turn back around and come back into Alabama to get to it. Um, it's a newer RV park, the Red Coach Resort, apparently so new that it's not even finished, but the full hookup sites were only $39 a night, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. It's a narrow turn. Yeah, it is. This is so weird. Yeah, we're in a neighborhood. It's strange. It's like somebody just put an RV resort in the middle of a subdivision. Leland. <laughs> but, okay, this is... Station is on the right. The normal road, I guess. There's a lot of people here. Okay. Now I don't know, it's know. time to go south. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. That's too cold for this many people. Back up some, you didn't undo the chain. I did pick this site on purpose because it is on the end, so we can like just walk out and take the dogs and there's nobody on our living area side, which is pretty nice. It's but cold. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Before it gets too dark and we lose all our light and it starts freezing out here, let's talk about why we're going to Indiana. Yeah. Indy I said that. Weird, so sorry, Indiana, but I know how to say your state's name. So we have some stuff that we want to get fixed on the RV before we really get into this year and all of its adventures. We're going to the Brinkley we're plant. We're going to the Brinkley plant, plant factory, factory. manufacturers, and we're going to get them to fix uh, a handful of items. We'll go over all the stuff and walk you through. We're hoping to maybe do um, an RV plant tour, whatever it's called, the Brinkley tour, and uh, show you all that. But I think it should be good if we can make it and not freeze to death. <laughs> if we can't, we cannot freeze to death. That's the key to key to this whole thing here. But our one year with our Brinkley is coming up in May, which means you know that one year warranty's up. So we've got some stuff we've got to get fixed before we head to Alaska, and our warranty's out. So that's it. We're we're going to get stuff fixed. Maverick is absolutely loving this cold weather though. Maverick Holy smokes, he is so excited right now. Maybe we'll get to see some snow. You guys think so? Oh, think Maverick loves get... snow. I'm pretty excited. Okay, yeah. let's finish getting set up. So it's supposed to be getting to like 27 degrees tonight, which is below freezing. Um, so we're going to fill up our fresh water tank with some water and then disconnect our hose and tuck it back inside because the storage area is much more heated than outside. So hopefully we won't have a frozen hose in the morning. And after it warms up a bit, we can come back out and hook our water back up. But the water in the tank should get us through. Okay, first update, nothing froze. It got into the low 20s multiple nights this week. So we just kept our water hose in the storage bay like Craig showed you and all was well. We were actually quite warm and toasty. And today we continue on our trek towards Indiana. Getting a thousand miles somewhere in the course of like one week is actually a lot for us because we usually work Monday through Friday. So we only have a couple of days that we can use to travel. And so that's a lot of ground to cover. So we've spent the last few days here doing really boring stuff like working, walking the dogs. That's not so boring because it's actually quite nice out here and working out. We even went rock climbing at a rock climbing gym that was nearby. So that was kind of fun actually. But now we are getting back on the road and I don't know where we're going. Well, we know we're going to Indiana. We just don't know where we're going tonight. I don't even know if we're stopping, we're going to try and find a campground, truck stop, Walmart, something like that. I don't even know. If, what if there's not one? There's definitely a Walmart in between here and there though. If you've been around here very long with us, you probably know we're kind of like wing it type people. We don't often make reservations very far in advance, sometimes like the day before. This is probably the first time where I had absolutely zero clue where we even might be stopping though before we leave but you know we have a general direction and there's always something right mm -hmm. have we ever 
found nothing? No, I think our nothing ends up being Walmarts. Like yeah, but we usually plan for those. There's like always something. It might not be what you want, but you don't really have to make reservations for everywhere in RV life. So that Red Coach RV resort we stayed at was an unfinished RV resort. In fact, there were like zero things on it, except for the one thing they decided to start building first. It was a koi pond. A I koi don't pond. understand. No amenities, just a koi pond. But it was honestly just, it, it was fine. Like they had it priced at $39 a night. So, and- Yeah, but you gotta fine. pay for electric separate. That's true. And I don't know how much we're gonna end up having to pay for that. Yeah, but I don't know. In any case, I guess we'll see. Our next obstacle, literally obstacle, is that bridge that we came under on the way in. And now we have to get back out. And I guess we got under it once, but will we get under it twice from another direction? Oh, no, let's hope. Holy sakes. It's 13 sets. We're supposed to be 13 two at whatever they measured us at whenever they measure these things. So, and we didn't measure ourselves for those whole no. four days we were there because? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why we did it. We should have. Well, we're not, we weren't hooked up to a truck. I would have had to hook the truck up, which, yes. I mean, it's doable, but. We didn't do it though. No. So. I just saw a video of a truck driver who uh, carries a measuring stick thing with him. Stop looking at me, boy. But, uh, there was a low bridge he was able to turn in a parking lot not far from it and he measured the bridge one side of it was much lower than the like he would hit on one side and the other one was uh the uh, so he had to drive in a on in the wrong lane to go under it which is a little nerve-wracking because that does mean that these bridges aren't just perfect well that's a comforting story for us right before we cross this bridge cross your fingers wish with us wish us luck in the comments and here we go because we did make it oh i guess like okay we made it through on the other side so we'll see how this thing goes there it is about to see oh gosh oh, oh my gosh that was so close okay he they were scared he what he got through but that's the side we went under already I don't think we hit. Golly, I hate that. Uh, can't tell, but we didn't hear a crash. Didn't hear a crash. I don't think we hit. That is like one of the worst feelings. Oh, no, I don't like it. That RV that went under right before us, or was coming towards us. Oh Big my Montana. gosh. Montana. It was close. You know they were so scared. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Well, we should have plenty of time to figure out where the heck we're going tonight, seeing as how we're just sitting here in traffic, basically not moving at all. You didn't think we were gonna get away without having to sit in traffic today, did you? With no end in sight. No end in sight. Got my computer out. Um, thinking maybe stopping somewhere around Louisville, Kentucky, maybe up towards Indianapolis. Where would you stop in that area? Let us know in the comments, it'll be too late for us, but perhaps someone else will be able to find a good uh, stopping point if you happen to be on your way to Goshen, Indiana. Made it through Nashville, it was pretty terrible. The traffic's pretty rough through there. Um, there was so much construction going on and a wreck almost happened right in front of us. And so it was, I don't know, it was, it was fine. <laughs> um, almost as bad as like Atlanta, I believe. Now it's gonna be like seven o'clock before we get to where we're going. Well, even later because we gotta get fuel. And we do know where we're going now. I did some searching and found Charlestown State Park, which is near-ish Louisville, apparently. And the sites only have electric right now. They are winterized, no water, no sewer. However, that makes them cheaper, only $16 a night. And there's something about an abandoned theme park trail in the state park, which sounded cool. So we're definitely gonna check that out. If we can make it there in the dark without hitting a tree. But you guys know how those state parks are. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we didn't get to actually make reservations, but there's supposed to be walk-up sites available. Hopefully so.
it has gotten completely dark, which is really our least favorite way to arrive anywhere, even if it is a campground with established sites. And I think I might know what site we're going to, if it's still open, it's first come, first serve. But it's been a nerve wracking day. Craig had to drive through Nashville, through Louisville, and there's been so much road work and construction. It's been insane. The roads are also pretty awful in Kentucky to Indiana. I don't know why they're so bad, but they're they're pretty bad. In 400 feet, arrive at Charlestown State Park on the right. My biggest fear right now is that we pull in and the state park like gate is closed and locked for the evening. And I don't know what we're doing if that happens. A building, do you think there's anybody here? I don't see any cars. I don't think so. Okay, let's see what they say. No parking up over parking is a certified da, 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 park. Okay, I guess hmm. we'll just keep going to the campground. Yeah. It kind of feels like we're taking y'all on a haunted house or something right now. There's like nothing. It's, we're in the woods. It's dark. I don't know. Hopefully we find ourselves a campsite here soon. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of... It looks like there's a lot of... <laughs> All right, so... Do you want to take site two or do we want to maybe... It don't matter where well, that one's actually kind of got a lot of trees. Maybe this All next right. site. That one three. looks pretty big right there. This one or the next one is fine. Start coming back with a slight t angle towards the passenger side, of course. Okay, you'll want to be over to the driver's side a little bit more. But there's going to be this little, little pothole that your passenger side trailer tires are about to go in, but you'll come back up on top of it so you can just keep coming. Oh my gosh, guess what? It's snowing out here. Can you see it? Okay, it's not, I, I, okay, I'm not a snow connoisseur, so I don't know if you really count this as snowing, but there are fluffy, flake things falling from the sky. So in my mind, that's snowing. Oh, it's so cold, my eyes are watering. Ah! I cannot believe we're in the snow again. We said we would never ever do this again. <laughs> it's snowing out there. Coming out of the wall. My legs. Is that sweat or snow? Sweat. Ooh. It was, uh, I don't know, it was a lot of heels. <laughs> They're killing me. You know, when I got trucked, I was like, I don't know why, but I feel like she's gonna be videoing as soon as I walk in. How much snowier it is. It's coming down. Leland's 12, he gets cold, so we got him a little sweater we're gonna put on him. But for the reason I was so sweaty when I was coming in was because I've still been running, I've been running and working so uh, breakdown on my workouts with our dieting we've been doing, which I have lost today when I just weighed 19 pounds. So that's great. And uh, breakdown on my little workout I've been doing is I run, I just got up to six miles of 10K every other day. And then the days in between, I'll do like a workout with our Max Pro, which is still kind of like a high intensity interval training type workout. But it's been all going good. <laughs> Come here, boy. What are you doing? Poor boy. <laughs> oh, you just sleep, my boy. All right, hold on, buddy. Let's get your sweater on. He actually likes his sweater. We got to give him a new one. He's had this one for a really long time. But like I was saying, I've been doing a high inter intensity interval training type workout every other day. And then the off days of that, I'll do like a 10K run. And it's been going pretty good. I'm dying today. This is the most hilly it's been since I've started running again. So that was kind of rough. Can we just have a moment? for the literal like winter wonderland background as Craig was talking. You can just see the snow falling out the window. This is crazy. We gotta run the dehumidifier. Look, it's starting to fog up. And what am I doing while Craig's doing all this running? Not running with him. Sometimes I do, sometimes I run. Been trying to do some more walks. I'm not going as hard as Craig. I don't know. It's It takes a lot of time and I 
have to work a lot, so that's my excuse. But still been doing better on eating healthy, so that's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Look at Sean Leland, he's so cute. This is my boy. This is my boy right here, guys. Nobody can mess with my Leland now. I get a little sensitive. Maverick is so jealous right now. <laughs> he just wants Leland's food. <laughs> guys, look how he is so food driven. It's insane. Leland, you hold a tennis ball up and it's like you can't control him. Maverick is food. Yeah, they're food they're right very there, at different personalities for being the same breed of dog. It's, it's kind of interesting. And both very smart, however, very disobedient, smart, very obedient, smart. <laughs> <laughs> chunky, food driven and chunky. Yep. Skinny and toy loves driven. To play. Yep. yep. This is actually a really nice state park, Charlestown State Park. I mean, we're kind of freezing to death right now. Yeah. And there's nobody here. <laughs> What's crazy though, there's, I, I see at least two tent campers and I don't know how they're doing it. No, I have no clue. There's like barely, there are some people here, but the sites are extremely spacious definitely big rig friendly um craig went running on a trail how was the trail trail was actually really nice it was a stream and everything a couple bridges uh -huh. uh, so it was actually a really nice trail however it's a little muddy right now so kind of slippery in places it has stopped snowing but it's still really cold but we only have one day here so we had to come check out this abandoned theme park trail we're not at the abandoned theme park yet but we brought the dogs we're going to check it out craig is cold it's cold my face is cold my nose is numb <laughs> i don't know what we're doing up here this is not this is not our kind of weather <laughs> So we just crossed the bridge over onto Rose Island. So in the 1920s and 30s, Rose Island was this popular summer destination. It was an amusement park with a merry-go-round and swimming pool. What does this do? The 1937 flood destroyed the amusement park and it was never rebuilt. Then the state of Indiana created Charlestown State Park. Stephen strenuous. <laughs> on the way back. <laughs> hey, I've already, I've already just said smiles this morning. Maverick, Leland, how you guys doing? Leland's looking so cute in his new sweater. What do you guys think? It's not a sweater, it's a hoodie. A hoodie. Hey, it ain't no Mr. Rogers dog. This is Leland. And now it is dinner time. Thank you, by the way, to everyone for all of your suggestions for healthy recipes because we're about to make one of them tonight. Egg roll in a bowl and I'm pretty excited about it. Right, try that egg roll in a bowl. It looks hot. It's not that hot. It's good. It don't taste like an egg roll, but it's good. <laughs> well, not the inside part of an egg roll? Yeah, maybe, but it's hard to get past the whole deep fried part of the egg roll, so. Coffee man. Mm -hmm. Okay, now tomorrow we had the rest of the way to Goshen, Indiana to drop off the RV and we're going to show you what we're getting addressed in it and all that stuff. But tomorrow is gonna be next week for you guys. So be yeah. sure and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for joining us this week. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button. Um, it does really help us. Also, give us a like if you st if you stay this far through the video, you better click the like. It only makes sense. She just watched the entire video and didn't click the like. That that's weird. You got to click it. So click that. Click subscribe while you're at it. And again, next week we will be showing why we are taking our RV into the uh, where it was made to get some repairs done. Like we're gonna show you all the repairs and upgrades and all that stuff that we want to get done to it. So. Make sure you watch next week's too. And for all of you who join us every single week, 
We really, really appreciate you guys. We just got to have lunch actually with somebody, um, Marty, and it's just so much fun. It's like we have friends all over the country. We really appreciate each and every one of you. So we will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.